All right, TLF fam, we're back. We're gonna show you how to do a 90-90 hip rotation. So this is called a pails and rails contraction. We'll go, we'll go over what each of them means. But a 90-90 hip rotation just means that you have one leg in front that's a 90 degrees, and one leg in the back that's also a 90 degrees like so. Now, when getting into position, it's important to have one hand in the middle, one hand on the outside, but don't let the shoulder dip forward like that. But it's really important to keep this back attractive when you start. So in terms of hand position, one inside, one, out, one outside, shoulders are back. And in terms of bracing, you're thinking of a simple cue, which is keep your ribcage from doing this, from expanding. So just keep it down, pack down a little bit, and make sure you're breathing expansively this way, horizontally. So going out that way, diaphragmatically. So if you, if you haven't watched our video on breathing, make sure you check out that video in the description below, but make sure you're breathing constantly throughout the movement. So that's, that's your first two rules. So shoulders back, breathe diaphragmatically. Now, I'm gonna begin with what my back foot is doing. It has to go into the ground, to so dig it in to create a point of contact. That's number one. Once you dig it down, you wanna think in terms of what the hip joint is doing. So this is a ball and socket joint. So if my ball, if you can think about it like a lacrosse ball sitting right here, you're just basically moving the lacrosse ball that way in rotation the entire time. And that's the focus. You're not trying to overly contract your muscles. You're trying to focus on rotating your hip joint back. So in my setup, right here, I create that point of contact and I begin to breathe. On my exhales, I try to move. Like this, like this. And again, when I get stuck, when you reach a sticking point, Typically what I tell people to do first is create a deep breath diaphragmatically before you try to move again. So, and then you'll find you get a little more range of motion to be patient and get that full breath. Also on the exhales, it's important to actually try to engage and keep your rib cage down like we talked about. So again, stuck, I go again, stuck again. Now if you absolutely just can't go any further, you just don't have the range of motion, Use your arm to stick it right in front of that kneecap. And what we're doing here is a rails contraction. Basically, it's a regressive contraction. The pales is the, the progressive contraction, is the direction you want to go. The rails is the other way, okay? We do our rails contraction, and we're going to push into our hand, and at the joint, all we're thinking about doing is rotating that lacrosse ball inward. So I'm here, rotating the hip in, I'm resisting with my arm the entire time. Resist, resist, resist. I hold for about at least two or three breaths. Then I reverse it. And I find there's more ease in going into my movement pattern. Now the more and more I get to this, my, my supposed end range, I'm not gonna be satisfied here quite yet. I'm gonna dig my foot straight down into the ground. Like I'm gonna stand up, but I'm not. So I dig straight down, and then I create more rotation of that lacrosse ball, my, my ball and socket. I turn, 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 turn. I'm making sure this is not popping forward. And say I get stuck again, breathe. Go a little further, Deep breath again. Now when you reach your complete max, then come all the way back inward, but make sure you're following the same rule, using that joint cue, rolling on the cross ball or your joint forward. This way nice and controlled you repeat again. Now, if you get stuck early on, if you're like stuck even down here, again, use your hand, dig down, push, 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 same concept, two or three breaths, go further. Now, when you, when you go to your next point, say you've gained maybe a couple inches, like right here, instead of just rushing to put your hand into that regressive rails contraction, stay there for a bit. Spend out at least three or four breaths trying to create a little more range of motion from the hip. So you'll find, believe it or not, if you breathe through it, you'll get a little more than you think. And keep working your way until you get to your max position. Okay? And when you get done, you can switch sides. Now, the other way is important too. The internal range of motion. So that was, that's external rotation. Let's work on internal. That's just as important. So to do an internal rotation position, all we work on is keeping your point of contact now being your knee. So dig your knee straight down to the floor, and then think about keeping your hands in the same position, but you're looking to lift your foot off the floor. So I'm here, rotating in, and I lift. Lift, 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 lift. Take a deep breath here, expand. 
Let's do some more. Deep breath again. Now caution, if you do cramp in your hamstring, which is common, shake it out, take a second, let it go. That's pretty common, you're not used to going that range of motion. Reset and get back to it. It's important that you breathe through it. You hold your breath, you're more likely to cramp. It's okay to lean over at first until you get to your max. Now, if you want to work on rails and pails, all you need is a block. A block. And you can simply use a block to help to get a little more range of motion or a couple blocks. So if you're here, in your position, I would even position it once you've worked a few rotations, position your foot up top of the block. And now you have a new range of motion to work with. So if I can't get higher, I'm going to dig my foot now into that block as hard as possible. My joint, my, my lacrosse ball is going to rotate back, 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 back. Two, three breaths. And then my knee's going to drive down. I'm going to lift back off this block. Okay, two, three breaths here. And back down again until I create some more height. So say you're working through your internal, internal rotation position and you want to get a little more height, using a block will help you work through it. So say I've gone my rotation, I get stuck at this, this point. I can use a block, place it right underneath my, my foot here, like so. And if you dig down first, so create the point of contact with your foot, dig down. As you dig down and turning your ball in the socket, this way, externally. So think about that, that lacrosse ball we talked about, rotate it back as much as you can. Rotate, 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 hold that for two, three breaths. This is a static position, just trying to focus on the turn happening from here. After that's done, dig your knee down, try to lift off that block. Two, three breaths here. Repeat, and if you get stuck, or, or need to go a little higher, for example, you can just stack a block and just keep working for that range of motion to get more and more. And if you do cramp, quick little caution again, if you do cramp, make sure you shake it out, get back into it. You're probably just not used to the range of motion yet. Once you get used to it, you get better and better at handling those ranges. If that's your 90-90 hip rotation, pales and rails, stay tuned for more of these. This is just one variation. There are multiple variations that help your hips feel more mobile. Throughout, throughout that entire pattern. So until next time y'all, make sure you hit like and subscribe if you like the video. Peace.